Meghan and Harry's upcoming Netflix series amounts to a vanity project, according to one royal watcher. Sources have said the series will screen this year following speculation that it would be postponed due to the death of Queen Elizabeth II. Royal commentator Niall Gardiner said that the timing of the release made it especially distasteful. My view this is all it's all rather distasteful especially in the aftermath of the Queen's death, Mr. Gardiner said. Meghan seems determined to advance her own image and standing. The Netflix deal, signed after the couple stepped down from royal life, is reported to be worth a staggering $100 million. Both the Sussexes and the streaming giant have been tight-lipped about the content of the docuseries. The Netflix documentary is just a vanity project and also, very clearly Meghan is trading off her royal title and connections here, Mr. Gardiner said of the series. The couple's Netflix series has been dubbed a vanity project. Image, Getty. The couple is engaged in a huge publicity campaign according to Mr. Gardiner. Image, Getty. He added, she should NT be doing that really. She should be respecting what the monarchy is all about what it stands for. And she should not be using the moment as a launch pad for her own huge ambitions. So, this is all very, very distasteful, what is happening? Recently, Meghan has given a series of high-profile interviews in recent months and has launched her Spotify podcast Archetypes. Mr. Gardiner said that this is all a part of a huge publicity campaign by the Sussexes to help Meghan build her empire. Read more, Meghan and Harry savaged over absolutely ghastly Netflix plan Prime Harry and Meghan publicly mourned at the Queen's funeral. Image, Getty, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle returned to California shortly after the funeral. Image, Getty, he said, we are seeing a huge publicity campaign by Meghan and Harry, it's on multiple fronts so you've got Netflix, Variety, some other avenues as well. She's trying to build an empire all around her herself, he added, she is somebody who is completely dedicated to promoting Meghan Markle. There have been reports that the couple attempted to make last-minute edits to the docuseries in the wake of the Queen's death. However, Netflix is said to have stood by the filmmakers urging that minimal edits be made, according to the entertainment site Page Six. Don't miss, despicable person, Trump hits back at Pelosi after her punch threats, analysis, William and Kate will avoid fluffy reunion with Sussexes in NYC, insight, horror as Black Bear Mall's boy and drags him away in US report. Meghan said she felt fortunate to have had a nice warmth with the Queen. Image, Getty, trending it is highly unlikely that either Prince Harry's memoir or the upcoming docuseries would be critical of the Queen herself, however there has been speculation they might hit out at other senior royals. The release of Harry's memoir, scheduled for this year, has been pushed until 2023, likely as a show of respect for Her Majesty. In her most recent interview with Variety, Meghan said she felt fortunate to have had a nice warmth with the Queen. She added that following the Queen's death, her and Harry have been focusing on their charitable foundation, Archwell.